going on today guys, Justin here, and today we are going to be playing Beam, on, Beam NG Drive on this map called Dead Zone. So, what we're going to be looking at today is the, if I scroll down to it, like the, the WLD Free Series 30-2, also known as the EMD SD40-2. Now, this map already spawns in trains if you have the mod installed, which I do, but since we're not looking at these, this uh, F7 right now, we are looking at the SD40-2, and there is quite a few paint variants, and just other general variants of the 30-2, I'm just going to call it the SD40-2 during this video, because that is what it's based off. So right off the bat, we have Union Pacific, Burlington Northern, Santa Fe, uh, BNSF, CP, Santa Fe in the blue and yellow scheme, uh, SP, so uh, CNW, and then we have a multi-track multi drift, I cannot speak, and we have a race. Since this thing should should be automatically railed for us, and now we have to do the painstaking process. So we're good. So to actually drive this thing, we're actually going to need to go into. But, all right. So we need to go into uh, the realistic gear box behavior because. It's, we need to go into M1. And to, so right now it's in 4, that's what the, the range box is for. If you put it into high, that's reverse, and then, shoot, I forget the range for those. It's increased throttle, increased throttle is T. And there's that button. Now, I have no idea if you guys can hear this, so I'm just going to be like, I'm literally this close to the mic right now. But, it's very, this is, we've got this mic a couple of days ago, and we have a very struggle right now. Let's go around the floor, because this is the so what we want to do is probably have to go to your Detroit's. Just realize it doesn't have your Detroit's, but we have to go to Detroit's. Turn on by pressing K. So now we can span T. We're making 10 pounds of pressure. Thing starts rolling forward because of wheel slip. Well, I will reset it to where it was. Because we're only at six miles per hour, and we're very slow. So if we get to zero, it's about right. We're just going to reset it, and then we're going 
just gonna go forward and we're going to there's a ramp at the bottom that's why I kinda like dead zone because there's a train ramp which is pretty sick so what I'm gonna do is turn the lights here Shift of them to that is the dynamic break. They are not sure in, just like the real thing is yeah, how much of a dynamic break you have. Oh, ripped off the rear truck. You heard my sister in the background, she's just watching me play. So, yeah. Our bell still works though, that's. Something, even though it fell off. Uh, horn still works, but now we can reset it and we can look at a different variant. Now, let's see what we got. If I, it takes a bit to scroll down. Alright, let's just, since there's so many variants, uh, also let me know if you want to see more BeamNG Drive down in the comments below. Uh, let's. You know, we'll just, we'll just screw it. We'll just do the Santa Fe, the fast version, because I've never tried, actually tried it before. Out of the whole time I've owned this mod, it's been a while. And by the way, if you do own this game, you can go in the repository section of the BMD game, and you can actually find it, I think. Depending on when you watch this video, I don't know. Last time I checked, this thing was still up, so... And the, there's no different color changes at all, which is sucks, but it's and Yeah. Alright, yeah, this is a lot better than that CPU we are using. What else can I post on the radio? Can we turn the beacon? actually do work, you can actually hook up more like a nose to it. With the F7. I know it's a Actually I should I can just reset it. But yeah you can connect it to more SD forties or the F7. Uh there's more information about coupling on the actual lucky itself which I don't know if I feel like putting in the description but yeah if you just like just look around about this I don't have any train cars currently but if I did uh, I'd go on a different map with this mod and try to set up a decent train even though it takes literally forever just to put on a locomotive so yeah it'd be a well yeah I'd probably cut out the parts but alright well and we're still in the Seventy miles per hour, seventy-five, eighty, ninety. Can we hit a hundred? Yep, we hit a hundred. And let's see how we do on the jump. Oh, oh, and into the mud lake we go. the doors for the engine open and I actually put the strength to 100% here and not do that just try to rip this off which is not easy to do it's on a 
so the easiest way to do it. But to get all this stuff off is just to wreck it. Just crash this thing pretty darn good. Or actually, no, I'd drop it. I would drop it from the sky, but then I'd have to bring it out. Which I do not feel like doing at all. So, instead, we're going to move to this truck that is currently useless right now, but we will make it useful by letting it get obliterated by the Santa Fe locomotive, which we will, which I will now demonstrate if my keyboard is actually working here. Thank you. It was letting me steer for a second. Anyway, which I will now demonstrate by putting in the middle of the tracks. Here, we'll just put it in park. All right, and now we'll just put it into notch eight. Shift into number one. And we're already ready. Okay. And turn the bell. Oh, I actually turn the bell. I'm turns on the beat. Four sequence. Lost a ditch light too. We're just kind of a we're just kind of a boat right now, and our wheel is very glitched out. I don't know if that's supposed to be. A... Oh yeah, but here's the truck. See, that was from a hundred miles per hour on that train. You see, this could literally, like, I'm not even joking about this part, but this game is actually pretty realistic. This is kind of an example of don't stop on train tracks when a train is coming because this could actually seriously happen to you like especially if you're like where it goes at track speed of like 70 miles per hour that that seriously could happen to you right there i mean not to this extent but you know it'd just be a stupid like ball of metal so just don't be an idiot around trains you can and they're very dangerous that's why you don't be stupid Alright, let's 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 do something more interesting to get hit by, like the extra large version of the pigeon, and we'll do the fastest version. Actually, no, we'll do the cleaning because that's the most, because you know that's what it's. There's the most movable and breakable parts. So yeah, there's no horn on it, unfortunately. This thing is, you, you know, it might just look like a normal pigeon, but this thing is pretty big. Now, we'll go back to our literal demolished train, respawn it, and... Not eight. Let's go down. She broke her engine that time. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe for more videos. If you want to see more uh, BMNG videos, let me know down in the comments below. And I never thank you guys for 100 subscribers. Uh, it really means quite a bit to me. So, yeah. Thank you for 100 subscribers, guys. Uh, and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next video. See ya.